Hello, my name is Duncan Woodhouse and this is Bauer Media. And today I wanted to talk to you about how you can use your iPad um, or your iPhone and turn it into a professional monitor for your camera with something called the Axoon CMO Pro. Now the name's not very catchy, but we will jump into the key features of this bit of hardware to see if it's something that might help you in your filmmaking journey. So let's cue the intro. Welcome back. So I recently used the Axon Simo Pro to shoot interviews of two award-winning directors at the Big Picture Film Festival uh, in Stratford-upon-Avon in the UK. Now I normally have with me my Atomos Shinobi 7-inch monitor, but that is a bit of a beast and it is quite heavy. Um, and on this occasion I was shooting on my own, so I had to bring all of my video kit with me as well as sound kit. So I had to kind of shed some weight um, because there was quite a lot to carry um, around Stratford to and from the car park and also to the venue itself. So having a lighter option such as the iPhone or the iPad and obviously then attaching that to the Axion CMI Pro seemed like a good option. So this has been a really good case for me to actually test this out. So let's dive into some of the key features. Firstly, it is small and compact. It can fit into your pocket, unlike the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera that really doesn't fit into your pocket unless you're a giant and you've got enormous pockets. So I also love the fact that it's got flexible power options and it works with the Sony NPF type batteries, both the small and the large batteries. So you can power it all day with one of those big chunky batteries and for quite a long time with one of the small batteries too. I love the fact that it's also got very versatile inputs so it accepts HDMI and SDI. So I've got a mix of cameras. I've got Canon, I've got Panasonic and I've got my Blackmagic cameras that I used at this session. But generally speaking, Canon cameras and Panasonic cameras prefer HDMI connections and my Blackmagic camera prefers SDI connections. So it's just great to have something in your kit bag that you can throw together at short notice, which will accept HDMI and SDI connections. For the iPad, you do need the uh, cage. If I can just show that now, you do need the cage um, separately when you are using the iPad, obviously to hold that in place, but also it has some clips on the back of it that allows you to actually connect that to the Axoon and set the whole piece up. With the Ursa uh, 12K that I've got, the screen is very small, so to have something as large as this to monitor uh, the footage is, is an absolute godsend. Now, if you're gonna use the iPhone, um, which is another great option, then you can also use the iPhone clamp um, from Axoon as well. Now that allows you to clamp the phone and then also then fit that to the Axoon Simo Pro and actually kind of slot those all together. That allows you then to input HDMI or the SDI and then use this cable, that's the USB-C cable and plug that into your iPad or your phone. So the setup really couldn't be much easier. So the other part to that is that you need to download the Axoon app, which for me was very quick and very easy, and actually was very quick to set it up on my iPad and my iPhone too. So I won't dive too much into the app because I think there's lots of videos out there that other people have done that are great about all of the functions on the app. I just thought I'd show you my settings, fairly basic go-to settings that I use on all monitors but particularly the Axon Simo Pro. So the first thing I always turn on is focus assist. Now focus assist is brilliant because you basically see uh, a red outline of all of those areas that are in focus. So here you can see on the iPad, on a great big monitor, you can see the individuals that we're shooting are outlined in red to make sure we absolutely have them in focus when they're talking and they're doing their Q&A session. Now the other thing I always have turned on is the histogram to make sure that the footage is correctly exposed. You don't want to underexpose things and you don't want to overexpose them. Now the other thing that I really enjoy having on is grid lines. This is of course optional, but I think it's really good to have grid lines on so it helps your composition. And of course the grid lines, you can then work to rules such as 
uh, rule of thirds. So you can have people on the intersects of these lines just to make the footage that much more interesting. So to wrap up, I think the Axoon Simo Pro is versatile, it's lightweight, it allows you to connect a number of different devices. And I really like the app and the versatility and all of the sort of pro tools that you get in the app that comes with. I'm hoping this helps you on your filmmaking journey. It'd be really interesting to see what you think. Please leave your comments below. And if you do like gear reviews, I do have other videos. Please have a look at those. And all I would say is happy filmmaking, everybody. And I'll see you very soon.